Tua Tagovailoa and the Miami Dolphins will follow up their commanding Week 1 victory over the New England Patriots with a matchup against the Baltimore Ravens in Week 2. After taking care of the Patriots in Week 1, the Dolphins and their fans will be interested to see how they stack up against the AFC North powerhouse that the Ravens are. The Ravens are a step up in terms of talent level from the Patriots. Their defense is deep and filled with star players, and their offense, led by Lamar Jackson. Cruised past the New York Jets in Week 1. If the Dolphins can pull off a victory over Baltimore, they will prove that they mean business this season. Much of that will fall on the shoulders of Tua Tagovailoa, the Dolphins' third-year quarterback. Tagovailoa was okay against the Patriots on Sunday, but he will have to be better if he wants to lead Miami to a win over Baltimore. Let's take a look at three bold predictions for Tagovailoa in his upcoming matchup against the Ravens. 3. Tua Tagovailoa will find Tyreek Hill for his first touchdown with the Dolphins, one of the reasons for optimism surrounding the Dolphins this season is because they managed to pick up star wide receiver Tyreek Hill in a trade with the Kansas City Chiefs this offseason. Hill gives Tagovailoa a receiving threat he didn't have available to him in his first three seasons with the team. Hill had a solid debut with the Dolphins in Week 1, picking up eight catches for 94 yards, and he was clearly Tagovailoa's favorite target on the day. While Jalen Waddell had the biggest play of the day with his 42-yard touchdown, Hill was Tagovailoa's security blanket who helped keep Miami's offense moving all day long. Hill didn't find the end zone in Week 1, but that will change in Week 2 against the Ravens. Baltimore won't double-team Hill as much as New England did, and that will free Hill up for a 56-yard touchdown on a go route from Tagovailoa. After many fans wondered whether or not Tagovailoa would be able to hit Hill on his deep roots, he silences his critics with a beautiful touchdown against Baltimore. Two. Tua Tagovailoa will score his first rushing touchdown of the season. Tagovailoa has always been known to make plays with his legs throughout his career, but he was fairly quiet on the ground in Week 1 against New England. Tagovailoa technically had two carries in the game but didn't pick up a single yard, as the Dolphins let Chase Edmonds and Raheem Mostert do most of the work on the ground. Against a stingy Ravens defense, Tagovailoa may need to rely on the read option to open things up more in Week 2. Having strong playmakers around him will help, but Baltimore has the pieces in their secondary to slow down the Dolphins' passing attack. Whether they do will depend primarily on how Tagovailoa plays. The good news for Tagovailoa is that he will parlay this into his first rushing score of the day, as he will scamper in from 5 yards out late in the game on a read option pass that sees a lane to the end zone emerge for him. It will be a nice consolation late in the game, because there won't be much else that goes right in this game for Tagovailoa. 1. Tua Tagovailoa will commit four turnovers on the day. Despite picking up a passing and rushing touchdown, Tagovailoa will struggle for much of the afternoon, and that results in him committing four turnovers against the Ravens' defense. It'll be a pretty poor effort from Tagovailoa all things considered, and his struggles will play a big role in the Dolphins losing this game. Tagovailoa will get picked off by Marcus Williams on his second pass of the day, as he gets greedy taking a shot for Hill down the field and Williams intercepts him. He will find Hill for his touchdown on the next drive, but he closes out the second half with another interception, this time to Marcus Peters, who makes a great read on a pass intended for Waddle. Tagovailoa will lead a field goal drive to open the second half, but he will commit his final two turnovers on the next two drives to basically seal the game. Justin Houston will get a strip sack, and Tagovailoa will follow that up by throwing an interception to Kyle Hamilton on the first play of the next drive. Overall, Week 2 will be a pretty significant step back for Tagovailoa after a strong opening performance in Week 1, which is a very concerning development for the Dolphins and their fans.